Hi guys, Dave, CTO of DVS. Welcome to another how-to video. So today we're gonna to show you how to set smart tracking, how we believe is a better way of doing it, using the VCA analytics built into the PTZ. Very powerful when you do it this way. So first we need to do is open up a web browser, web browser into our product, which we've done here. And we've got a dark fighter XPTZ on the side of our building. So air conditioning unit, side of the building, we're gonna track anyone who walks down the side of our building day or night. So first thing we need to do to set this up is go into configuration. Once we go into configuration, the, most people will go into PTZ and set the smart tracking in this sub menu. This is how we don't do it using our way. If you enable smart tracking on this menu here, the PTZ will uh, track, but you'll find it tracks objects that are a bit undesirable. So leaves, trees blowing, crisp packets, uh, small animals, uh, things like that and it'll lock onto a target, track it, and there's no limitation as to what or parameters we can set to avoid that. So the way we do is we use the analytic for, to our benefit to do this. So first of all, we don't need to enable smart tracking in here, but we do need to tell it the maximum duration tracking period that we'd like. Default is 300. For testing purposes, we are gonna leave it as default 300 seconds. Set zoom ratio is how far the PTZ can zoom in once it acquires and locks onto a target. So we're gonna zoom in slightly, we're gonna say about there, we're gonna say set zoom ratio, and we're gonna save that. And then we're gonna come back out again. Once we've set that, we don't need to do any other settings in there, but what we will need to do is go into the event and go to smart event. So smart event, we're gonna use the analytic to our benefit. You can use intrusion, line crossing, region entrance, or region exit. They all work in different ways as an analytic, but all have the same effect on the smart tracking. So what we do is, first of all, we draw our area. So we click draw our area, draw our box, our region, and we can have up to four regions through our field of view. We need to enable that first and we need to save it. So the threshold is how long a target stays in that box before the, act, before the VCA is triggered, which ultimately then triggers the smart tracking. So we can put it all the way up to 10 seconds. So someone has to be in that area for 10 seconds, or we can put it back down to two, which is our desired one, especially for testing, we'll make it two. Sensitivity is default of 50. Uh, that's normally fine, but we can make it uh, higher or lower depending on uh, the objects we're tracking. If it's uh, different sites may need that parameter tweaked, um, but the default of 50 is where you should start. And then the next thing is we can have the detection tag, the, the detection target is all human or vehicle. Now human is great if you've got a busy site and you don't want to track vehicles, you want it to concentrate on humans, we can enable the human function or vehicle uh, if you're only interested in vehicles, or if you want to track everything, we leave it as all. We're going to track everything, leave it as all, and we're going to save that. Next, we need, we need to do under arming schedule, we're going to set it, leave it default 24-7, but you can enable that to track. Uh, maybe you only want it to track when the site's open and when the site's close, it's, it goes on a preset tour, so we don't need the tracking functionality. So you can set that up then. And then linkage action, we've got all the standard linkage actions that are available to us on any uh, analytic or alarm input trigger, but we, we need to enable smart tracking. So when the VCA is uh, enabled and activated by a target, it will initiate the smart tracking for the 300 seconds which we set earlier and the, uh, and the parameters that we set for the set zoom ratio and for the analytic to be triggered. So we'll save that. What we've done then, for purposes of testing, under local, we've enabled the rules. So the rules is on live view of the web browser, it enables us to see the blue analytic box. What I'm gonna do now is quickly run outside energetically or not energetically as uh, mostly what I do. And you'll see the PTZ will lock onto me hopefully and then start to track me. And then I'll come back in. So if you give me a couple of seconds. Okay, 
as you saw there guys the pt said should have tracked me and as i came back in the pt said is still waiting for someone to come out beside that door again and start tracking otherwise after the 60 seconds it will go back to his home preset position like i said if you if you what we'll do is put it back to his home preset position now to stop this hunting what you can do now is if you set it up this way what we find is the results generating the feedback is the analytic is very stable for this kind of thing the smart tracking works much more effectively and we find it's a big benefit to the users on site a lot a lot of people do ask us about the smart tracking and that's a simple effective way of using that uh, pro that functionality within the product we hope you found this useful and we'll see you next time for another helpful how-to video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so as soon as a video goes live you'll be notified and it'll also boost our ratings okay thanks for watching cheers guys